Does anyone else wish to speak? Microphone one, sir. For what purpose do you rise? Uh, to speak uh, in favor. Please, sir. Teaching Elder Jacob Gerber, Platte Valley Presbytery. Um, the previous uh, speaker uh, raised the question of principle, and I'm very amenable to questions of principle. Um, it, it was a good speech, and it helped us to think about the principles at play. I, I do want to ask um, whether there might be other principles at play, uh, namely, should the most vulnerable members of our churches, in, in local churches, have recourse and access to the best possible assistance when they're facing very significant disciplinary procedures. And at very small churches, or, or even churches that just maybe don't deal a lot with these kinds of things, they don't have access to this potentially. And so I think one of the principles that we need to think about is how do we protect individuals? Yes, we want to think about protecting majorities, minorities, but we want to think about protecting individuals, and our polity really should do that. Our polity is very heavy to people like us who study and debate and consider amendments about these things. But if we want to consider the principle of protecting individuals, I, I think this amendment is a really important step forward to protect those individuals in churches where there may not be someone who is able or willing um, to defend someone in need of that defense. So I'd urge you to vote in favor of this amendment. Thank you. Thank you, sir.